Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Digital Book Maestro and for Mac 20 Questions and No Stylus websites. And today we're going to have a look at an application called Book Creator. It's a little bit simple, but you can make digital books with it fairly easily. And I've been having a go with it and see what I can do with it already. So you can flick through the books that you've already made. There you go. Or you can start a new one. So let's just do that. We'll start a new one. And we're going to have a new book and we'll go for a portrait. Three different choices we have there available. And the first thing to do is to do the cover. Now for the cover, we want to put a picture on there. So let's go to the camera roll. And in the camera roll, well, let's just choose uh, one of these. You can just move it around with the finger to place it where you want it fairly easily. Just move it by these uh, uh, little buttons, the uh, blue buttons on the corners to uh, space it out. So I've got it to the top there. Let's get it in the center. Okay, so that's that uh, part of it done. Let's put some text on the top of that there. So I'm going to call it Digital Book Maestro. So there we go. We've got a bit of text on there now. And we'll spread this out a little bit so it goes across to the width of the book. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this I button for the information for Inspector. And we're going to change the size of the text. I think we need to have the text a different colour as well to make sure it stands out a little bit better. So we're going to choose a colour here. And let's go for a orange. Okay, well, orange kind of stands out there, so we'll go for that. We could go for a custom colour if we wanted to, so maybe we want to have a slightly darker orange, maybe we could do that. Or maybe have it a bit more red, we could bring it down over, over here, or we can put it over this side over here. We can basically choose whatever colour we like with that, so that's quite good. And let's click on Apply. Let's go back to the colour, and back again. We'll set it so that it's centred up to the middle there. We can change the font of this. And the moment is set for Helvetica. Optima is one of my favourite ones there. So we'll go for Optima. Let's go back. And we'll put it into bold. And I can use this button here to change the size of it one size at a time. Or I can just move this across like that. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can change the size of your text. Okay, so the next thing to do is to go to some pages and start putting them in. So I've clicked on Next. And this is our first page. So pages two and three. So let's first of all put a picture in there, go to the camera roll again, and uh, choose any old picture, put it in there. Let's size it up. Basically, you can move the picture around quite easily. I could even turn it around and have it at an angle if I want to. Have it set at a jaunty angle. How about that? Let's put it back to zero again, and we'll put that in the center there. And obviously, you probably want to have some text in there as well, so let's go to the text. And we're going to uh, get some text from another application. Let's go to Daedalus. We'll select this paragraph here. So there you go. We've got a paragraph text selected. Let's click on Copy. Let's go back into Book Creator. This time we'll click on Paste. Actually, I've got more than one paragraph there. So let's just... Uh, in fact, we'll leave that paragraph there, and I'll just show what the problem with this uh, application is. Let's click on Done. Now, you see the way this has come up there. That's come up with the same text settings as for the uh, front of it. So I have to go in there and do some changes there. Bring it down in size, first of all. And we're going to change the color of it. Put the color back to black. And go back on that there. And we'll also turn the bold off there. We don't, don't think we need bold. And we'll set it to be left justified. But it's not fitting on the page at all, is it? So that's the problem with it. And it's a bit difficult to organise it, apart from getting these blue buttons on the sides of this here. So I can take that and make it bigger like that. But it's still not going to fit in there, is it? So now once I've changed the size of there, I have to go and find these blue buttons again, because they've moved, because the uh, format has changed there of the shape. So let's bring that in there so that it fits within that space. And basically what I'm getting here is I'm getting a bit of text that's too big to fit in the space. And there's no way of me grabbing another bit of text box. So if I grab the text box, um, just put it in there, click on Done. So if I want this text box over here, and I wanted to have the text from one flow through to the next, I can't do that. And the only thing that I could do with it is to, first of all, I could bring this down to here. So let's uh, centre that up. Okay, we've got some lines there that gives us an idea to centre. It's a little bit difficult to get it just exactly right, but uh, I'll do my best there. And I can find that this bit of text is going to go down as far as where it says certainly, or just after beforehand full stop. So let's uh, tap on that there, 
And what I need to do is I need to go from here, so where it says certainly, click on select. And I need to come down this here, down to the end. I used the other finger there to bring it down to scroll it through because I didn't do it with just the one finger. And I'm just going to delete that. I haven't even got an undo button on this here. It's very, very minimal basic text editor. So let's click on done. So there you see, I've got that bit of text there which fits in now. So basically what I can do is I can go to this another one here now and let's uh, get rid of that and we'll go for a paste again. And then what I have to do is I have to say, well, this first bit's in. So let's select. And this time we're going to select from the word with down as far as the bit there we have already. So we're going to delete that. So again, we need to do a select. This time we'll do a cut. That's all for this first part of the video about Book Creator, and we're going to have a look at some more in the next episode. This is Dave Allen for Maximum Questions and for Digital Book Maestro. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.